Global outrage grew today as more horrific revelations surfaced from Bucha, Ukraine, a town northwest of Kyiv. Hundreds of Ukrainians died there, many apparently executed by Russian troops as they retreated from the town last week. President Biden spoke to these latest horrors of war this morning at the White House. You may remember I got criticized for calling Putin a war criminal. Well, the truth of the matter, you saw what happened in Bucha. This warrants him, he is a war criminal. But we have to gather the information. We have to continue to provide Ukraine with the weapons they need to continue the fight. And we have to gather all the detail so this can be an actual, have a war crime trial. This guy is brutal. And what's happening in Bucha is outrageous. And everyone's seen it. Meantime, the National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said today that the Russians are making a strategic shift to focus their military efforts on eastern Ukraine and leaving the towns and cities around Kyiv, like Buka. Special correspondent Simon Ostrovsky and videographer Yegor Troyanovsky traveled to Buka yesterday to see the horrific aftermath of the Russian occupation. And a warning. Many images in this report will upset viewers, but we feel it's necessary to show you what the Russian forces apparently did as they retreated from this area. This was once a quiet suburb of the Ukrainian capital. Now the town of Bucha is synonymous with death and devastation. On the way in, smashed Russian columns and the bodies of soldiers who were ordered to take Kiev but never made it that far. Within Bucha itself, the Russian retreat has exposed the horrors of war for Ukrainian civilians. Volunteers bag the bodies of a group of men, unceremoniously dumped behind a building, presumably by the Russians who used it as a base and left behind their waste and army-issued food rations. What we've seen here is eight bodies, some of them with their hands tied behind their backs. This could be evidence of war crimes. The soldiers we're here with say that they were tortured before they died. One of the men with tied hands is shirtless. His body is bruised, and he appears to have died from a bullet wound to the head. I know one of these people personally. I've talked to him. His wife called me and asked me to help. Andrei Bornikov. He drove a minibus for a company in Kyiv. Also shot in the head? Yes, in the head. Behind the local cathedral, a mass grave. We saw 13 bodies still exposed, but there are as many as 57 beneath the ground, according to Agence France Press. In all, more than 300 civilian bodies have been recovered in Bucha so far, according to the community's funeral director. Part of Russia's response to allegations that its forces committed war crimes has been to blame the Ukrainians themselves for killing their own people after Russian forces pulled out on March 31st. That timeline yeah. isn't supported by the evidence. Bodies like these of men in civilian clothes with gunshot wounds to the head in a partially decomposed state. It also doesn't square with the accounts of residents of Bucha itself. They just took people and shot them for nothing, just before they fled. The last five days they were here, you could hear it, because before it was relatively quiet. you just hear their vehicles, but then there was automatic gunfire all over their place. They killed an old lady in the school. We carried a body with a head wound out of a nine-story building. We also found some civilians in a garden over there all of them straight to the head. Bucha and Irpin are as far as Russia's armored columns made it. This is where the tip of the spear was broken by Ukrainian resistance. What we're finding now as the Russians retreated is the devastation that they've left in their wake. And the civilian toll has been really high. He's a veteran. In other words, he served for a year and defended our country. Yulia Truba was visiting relatives when Russian forces occupied Bucha, where she lived with her boyfriend of three years, Andrei Dvornikov, the man whose body was found with his hands tied behind his back. From witness accounts, she's been able to piece together that Russian forces were looking for military veterans and likely executed him when they found out he'd served in the war in Ukraine's Donbass region several years ago.
Мені сказали, що йому вистрілили. I was told that he was shot in the head. But in the photos, he's face down. You can't see anything on the back of his head. That means they were looking in his eyes when they shot him. This is insane. A sane person would not do that. It's such cruelty. It's the height of cruelty. How can you do that? With the atrocities in Bucha exposed to the world, Ukrainians no longer have any doubt they're fighting a war for their very survival. A war which is far from over as Russia refocuses its efforts on conquering the country's east. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Simon Ostrovsky in Bucha.